Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to be attempting a repair on this bonded leather office chair. I actually picked it up yesterday at a thrift store. I only paid $9 for it, so I figured I had nothing to lose in attempting a repair on it. I actually already started with the arms, kind of trying to see what I could do with it. So you can see like where the top layer has just kind of like flaked off and I actually attempted to paint this so before I painted it it was more like a light tan color but you can still see like just painting over it isn't going to do anything. This one I put a it looked just like that one and I put like a sealer over the fabric let it dry and then used a leather aerosol spray paint um, to cover it up. So all of the products that I will be using in this video, I will link in the description below. You can get them on Amazon. Hopefully this will help you guys if you have anything that's bonded or faux leather because it's such a big issue with stuff like this, the peeling and the flaking. Unfortunately, it's just really poor quality and not very durable at all. I always recommend people buy real leather, but sometimes real leather can be expensive. So if you do end up with a bonded leather piece of furniture, and it starts peeling, it can be super frustrating. So you might wanna at least attempt to extend the life of it. Sometimes they just have a couple little areas that are flaking and in the rest of it's fine. In this case, this chair is really, really worn. My husband and I, we do a ton of leather repair. We usually don't ever buy anything that is vinyl or bonded leather or anything like that because of stuff like this. But for the purpose of this video, I decided to buy this chair and kind of take it on as like a challenge and see if I could fix it. What I've done so far has worked out really well. Okay, so this is the stuff that I've been using. Loctite is the brand, and it's vinyl, fabric, and plastic, flexible adhesive. So what this will do is basically seal the peeling bonded leather, and then it'll create like a top layer over the fabric that feels similar. I would definitely recommend wearing gloves. Before you start, you'll want to peel away any leather that's like flaking. In this case, this one doesn't really have it. And then clean it with some rubbing alcohol. So I have applied the adhesive in a thin layer all around the whole chair, all the areas where the bonded leather was starting to flake and peel. What I do want to say is that you have to be really careful because this stuff dries pretty quickly. So if it becomes tacky, it will peel even more of the bonded leather away from the fabric. That is not what you want. So you have to work pretty quickly and just very delicately spread the adhesive over that layer. Another tip is that you can actually like get your glove wet and just kind of smooth the stuff over and then just don't touch it until it has dried completely. So I started off using a paint scraper to try to smooth it across, but actually it worked a lot better just using the gloves. The stuff dries really fast, so I'm almost ready to paint. The thing is about bonded leather is even in its best condition, it's a very poor quality material that is not super durable. So I just want you to know that like, this method may extend the life of your furniture, but it's not going to prevent it from future wear. This is just a temporary fix. If you want to avoid this, I recommend investing in real leather furniture or even finding it used on Craigslist or yard sales or online marketplaces. Okay, so I've let this dry and now I am going to start touching it up with paint. I'm using a Brillo aerosol leather dye. This stuff is amazing. We use it for our professional repairs on genuine leather and it works great for this too. It dries almost instantly and it's very long lasting. It's great stuff. So that's what I'll be using and I'm using the color dark brown. And this gray sky breaks my mood every morning.
guys like this video. If you did, please subscribe, click the like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.